Greetings. Just a quick video here. Uh, this is a Cisco SG300-52 52-port gigabit Ethernet managed switch. And we've, had, we've got quite a few of these at work and I've seen, I think this is the fifth or the sixth one now, which has come back with uh, an issue where, you see, this is the way they start up. It'll flash this system light while it's booting up. And we've had, like I said, this is the fifth or the sixth one where they don't actually get out of this state. They stay forever booting up and they won't enter any sort of switching mode at all. They just sit there like lemons. Now, rather than send them back, I thought, well, let's see if we can have a quick look and see if we can figure out what's wrong with them. And as it turns out, the fault is quite a simple one. It hasn't forgotten its configuration. What it's forgotten is its identity. It doesn't know its MAC address, it doesn't know its serial number, and it doesn't even know what version hardware it is. Fortunately, all that information is on the back. We've got our serial number, we've got the MAC address, and right at the end of this product ID, we've got the hardware version. And all of these SG352s I've seen seem to be all VO2, although we did buy absolutely loads of these pretty much in one go. The important thing with these to remember is that the MAC address is the only thing that's stopping this from booting successfully. So although you've got several chances where you can enter the MAC address correctly or not, if you enter the MAC address correctly and then you get the serial number wrong or the hardware version wrong, you can't enter those again. It'll have permanently the wrong serial number or the wrong hardware version or both unless it happens to lose its identity all over again. So let's fix this thing now and enter its MAC address. Now this is an odd one. Now the hardware revision is version 02, not something something dot something something dot something something. And as I've already tried this several times before with a few, I've got some which have got wrong version numbers on them. Um, God knows what's going to happen if we try firmware upgrading those. But this one at least, it's actually 00.00.02. It's the last bit of all is that version number at the end. And finally it wants the serial number. And that's written and this will now boot up properly. And if you turn it off and back on again it'll boot up properly. As you can see there the hardware revision is showing up as V02. It's got its correct MAC address and somewhere buried in its config it'll have its correct serial number as well. And in fact, if I, tell, if I turn it off and back on again, you can see it's booting up again properly. So, quick fix, saves you having to send it back to Cisco. Um, maybe this will get fixed in a future hardware revision or a future, hopefully a future firmware revision. I mean, there's nothing to stop them coming up with some randomly generated MAC address if it gets one wrong, you know, if it's if it's forgotten its own MAC address, and then allow you to enter it at a later date through the through the the, um, the web interface. You know, you, you shouldn't have to trek out to site and get into the serial port and port on the back of this thing to restart it. You should be able to do it remotely. Um, but there you go. It's a quick fix. Hope someone else finds this useful. Thank you very much for watching.